Hello, it's great that you're joining us for worship today. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to the gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. We say words from Psalm 100 together. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. 
Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Revelation. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll written on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seal? And no one in heaven or on earth was able to open the scroll or look into it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders a lamb standing as if it had been slaughtered having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. When he'd taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell before the Lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sing a new song, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slaughtered, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign on earth. Verses from Psalm 145 I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty act. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory, and I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They shall speak of the might of your marvellous acts, and I will also tell of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness, and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mighty power. To make known to all peoples your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. King of the universe. You show the bright glory of your reign in acts of mercy and enduring love. Raise the spirits of the downcast and restore those who have fallen away that we may sing forever of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The reading is taken from John chapter 1. The next day... Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. 
When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said to him, Here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no guile. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God descending and ascending upon the Son of Man. We say the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Have you ever been in the embarrassing situation where someone has told you how to recognise someone you've never met and you don't recognise them because you think they look totally different from the description that you've been given? Of course, it helps if you're describing someone if you know them well. In this Bible reading, I guess Andrew must have gone and described to his brother the kind of person he just met. He went home to Simon and said, I've just th met this man who... I wonder what he said. He might have described what Jesus looked like, what he sounded like, as well as what he said. It must have been really interesting because it made Peter want to come and meet Jesus for himself. How would you describe Jesus to someone who's never met him? It's not very easy, is it? Because we can't describe what he looks like. So what other descriptions would you use? Perhaps something like, he's always got time to listen. He cares about everyone. He understands what I feel like. He gives wise advice. He helps me when things are difficult. When Jesus lived on earth, he lived among ordinary people. He didn't spend all his time in church, in the temple, and neither did his disciples. They got on with their ordinary lives, but at the same time, they told people what Jesus had been doing and how he changed people's lives. They probably told their friends and their families first, and then I expect they told the people they worked with, the people they ate their lunch with, the people they met in the evening when they'd finished their day's work. People would never have heard of Jesus if he'd spent all his time in the temple in church, and if his followers had sat in meetings and expected people to come and join them. That's not what they did. They told everyone about Jesus as they went about their everyday lives. They probably said something like, come and meet my friend Jesus, and told them the sort of things we thought about earlier. 
We're not terribly good at doing that, are we? One of the reasons churches are struggling nowadays is that Christians don't know how to tell other people about Jesus. We're too worried we'll all sound like a ranting street preacher or be seen as intolerant or be accused of pushing our religion down people's throats. But that's not the sort of thing I mean. Jesus' first friends told their families and friends what they'd been doing with Jesus and introduced them to him. It's not so easy for us. We can't invite someone round to our home for a coffee and introduce them to Jesus. But if we found prayer has helped us, we can tell someone else that Jesus helped us when things were difficult. If we found comfort in church or in our faith in a bereavement, we can say that God has been keeping us company. If we found our way through a difficulty, we can tell someone that Jesus' words have helped us. The very fact that I know that some of you are thinking, no way I couldn't or wouldn't do that, shows how far we are from those first friends of Jesus. I don't really know why. We're quite happy to recommend a book or tell someone about a TV programme we've enjoyed or introduce them to one of our friends. So why don't we do that with Jesus? I'll leave you to think about that. We pray now for the family of the church, for loving relationships and for the life of families around us. Jesus, born in poverty and soon a refugee, be with families today who are poor and live in hunger and want. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, as you grew in wisdom and in favour with God and the people in the family of Joseph the carpenter, bring wisdom and the presence of God into the work and growth of families today. We pray especially for all who have to juggle work with caring for and homeschooling children, and for teachers working both in schools and online. We pray for children, parents and teachers at Christopher Rawlings Church School. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, as you blessed marriage in the wedding at Cana, be with those preparing for marriage and for all who are having to change their plans because of the pandemic and be with those who come to the end of their resources. We pray too for those for whom home is not a place of safety. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, as you healed Peter's mother-in-law, Bring healing to those in our families who are ill today and bring strength and comfort to all those who need your presence with them. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, when you were dying, you called Mary and John to care for one another. Provide today for those who lose their families, the bereaved and childless, orphans and widows. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, you ate breakfast on the beach with your disciples after you were raised from the dead. Bring the whole church, on earth and in heaven, into your risen presence to eat at the eternal banquet. 
Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us, accept our prayers, and be with us always. Amen. The special prayer for today. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Christ, the Son of God, perfect in you the image of his glory and gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Such as this sunset.